Gene Sick. Today is my first full day in Prague. And my Airbnb is right on the side of the Voltava River. Voltava. Voltava. That runs through the city. So I plan to kick off my exploration by visiting nearby tourist attractions. It's a bit embarrassing, but I only found out now that Franz Kafka was actually Czech. Was it because it was too early in the morning? Or does it only work at certain times? I've heard that the layers rotate, but apparently they don't. So I just went around the statue by myself. Downtown Prague doesn't appear to be very expensive and dealing with transportation can be a hassle. So I chose to wander on foot with my legs accustomed to the streets of Manhattan. I thought why not? I didn't plan on visiting this museum. I just wanted to check out the view because this place is up on the hill. Although viewing a country's artwork in a museum can be a meaningful experience, I've always felt that wandering through unfamiliar streets and observing the local people aligns better with my idea of a fulfilling trip. While making my way to the old town, I happened to pass by a place I had noticed near the hotel where I stayed yesterday. This is Power Tower. So why would I, why would I... I knew I would be doing a ton of walking today, so it wasn't a big concern for me, but I get why everyone suggests staying in the old town. It seems like most tourist attractions are scattered around that area, which is probably why it's pricier to stay there. If you are a tourist in Prague, there are two places you absolutely can miss. Right here in the old town square where I'm standing and Prague Castle. Let's head over to the astronomical clock at the Old Town City Hall. 
one of the most renowned attractions within the iconic old town square. As I was heading back to the riverside, I unexpectedly found myself on a street filled with fancy high-end shops. Paris is Paris is Most expensive street in Prague. I know I have a whole week to explore, but the first day tends to be busy for me. And after a few days, I start feeling quite settled and might get a bit lazy. Sure, when I'm at a beach vacation spot, I occasionally like to indulge in a nice hotel and relax if my budget allows. However, in a city like this, where I spend most of my time exploring outdoors, I don't mind staying in a cost-effective and clean place. Seriously, even in a city like this, who are the fortunate ones who can afford a place as luxury as this? When MB strikes, I like to curve it by indulging in a tasty treat. Those are friends by now, asking no one. The meat in this bread bowl was calling to me. But since I'm in Prague, I thought my first meal should be a classic bowl of goulash. Goulash. And the Kozel black draft beer that I was told to try. After I finished eating, I just had to try the famous chimney ice cream cake here in Prague. I'm planning to cross that bridge tomorrow and checking out Prague Castle. I've only had quick glimpses of many places today. But I'm really grateful I came to Prague and got to see them, even if it was just for a moment.
After being out for around 5 hours, I started feeling a bit chilly. So I decided to head back to the Airbnb and catch a quick nap. For dinner tonight, I chose to grill up some Spam right here in the Airbnb. I had already eaten out for lunch today, and after that unfortunate pickpocketing incident in Milan, I thought it would be wise to save some money. <laughs> 